Today, we're going to be taking a look at a few different options we can use to upgrade our ESXi 6.7 to ESXi 7. And why are we doing it? Well, because it's cool. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Hello, guys, and welcome to the Sysadmin Tutorials YouTube channel. Today, as you saw in the introduction, we're going to be upgrading our host to ESXi 7. Now, we are going to be making this episode a little bit interactive. So we're going to be asking questions along the way on the content that we've covered so far. And then at the end of the video, if you can post your answers to those questions in the comments below, and we'll see how you went. So let us know if you answered all of them correct or you got some wrong or whatever. They're going to be pretty easy, but I think it's going to be quite fun and um, I'm excited. So let's get into it. OK, up on screen, we have our vCenter server. So we're going to be logging into this with administrator and with the administrator password. Once we've logged into our vCenter server, you'll see up on screen, we have this cluster called vCloud 8 Tenant A. And underneath that, we've got two ESXi hosts. So we've got three and four. And these are the two ESXi hosts that we're going to be upgrading today to version 7. Now, for the resource pools underneath, you've got FitAid, Red Bull. Don't worry about that. It is not the production Red Bull system running on my lab or anything like that. No. <laughs> so um, this is just for lab purposes. I needed to come up with some names, so I just used these guys as um, demonstration. Now, moving right along. To update our ESXi hosts, we are going to be using our Lifecycle Manager, which is part of our vCenter server. Now, if we click on these three little lines at the top left and we go down to Lifecycle Manager, we need to import the ESXi 7 Update 3 ISO image. And we import that image into imported ISOs right here. Now, you're probably asking, where do I download this ISO image from? Well, I'm glad you asked because we go ahead over to our VMware site and we can download the ISO image from there. Now, what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to put this URL in the description below. So don't worry about zooming in and trying to write it down or anything like that. Just use the description below. You can click on that and it'll take you through to this section. Now, one important thing to note is that you do need a VMware login and password. So when if it does prompt you for that, um, you do have the option to create your user account on the first screen there. However, once you are logged in, you can click on download now and you can download that ISO image uh, to this management PC. Now I've downloaded the ISO image and I've placed it in my downloads folder. I've then created another folder called vSphere 7 update 3C and then I've put the ISO image there. So let's head back to our vCenter server. And we're in our Lifecycle Manager. We're in Imported ISOs. And we're going to go ahead and click on Import ISO. We'll then go and click Browse. We'll select the ISO image that we've just downloaded, which is our ESXi 7. And we'll click on Open. And that is it, guys. We are done. No, I'm just joking. So that is the first step. Next, we do need to go along into the Baseline section here. And we need to create a new baseline. So baseline just contains a bunch of updates. Could be upgrades, could be driver updates and such. So we do that uh, by going to this new button here or this new drop-down menu. And we select baseline. For the baseline name, I'm just going to be naming it Upgrade ESXi 7 U3C. And then for content, just make sure you've got Upgrade selected right here. We'll go ahead and click Next. And now this is our ISO image that we just uploaded into the system. So we're going to select that. You can see that it's version 7.0.3, which is the version that we're going to be upgrading to. We'll go ahead and click Next. And here's a summary of the baseline wizard. If you're happy with all these options here, we'll just go ahead and click Finish. And now we've got our baseline created. So next, what we'll do is click on these three little lines again, and we're going to go to Inventory. Now that we're in inventory, we're going to be placing this first ESXi host, which is number three, into maintenance mode to perform this upgrade. So when I put this host into maintenance mode, it's going to migrate all the virtual machines off that host onto the other host, and then it's just going to go into a maintenance mode state. So to do that, we're going to right click on that host, go to maintenance mode, enter maintenance mode, and we'll move the powered off and suspended virtual machines to other hosts in the cluster. And we'll click OK and OK again. OK, our host is now in maintenance mode. Now, just make sure you're in the updates section up the top here. 
And if we scroll down, you'll see we've got our list of attached baselines on this actual ESXi host. So we're going to be attaching the baseline that we just created previously. To do that, we'll click attach, attach baseline or baseline group. And then here we have our baseline upgrade ESXi 7 U3C. We'll select that and click attach. Once the baseline's attached, we then need to click on check compliance. So what check compliance is going to do is it's going to do a scan of the ESXi host against whatever baselines are attached to it. And then it's going to see or put that baseline into either compliant or non-compliant. And it could even go incompatible as well if the hardware is not compatible with the upgrade or with the patches or so on. So we're going to click on check compliance. And once that's run, we should see that upgrade ESXi 7 U3C baseline go into a non-compliant state. And there we have it. We do have our baseline in a non-compliant state, which is good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remediate the host, which means we're going to upgrade that to ESXi 7 update 3. Let's click on the baseline image, upgrade ESXi 7 U3C, and then we'll go ahead and we'll click on that remediate button. We'll then go ahead and click on accept the terms and license agreement and click OK. Now here's our remediate options. We do have the ESXi 3 host selected, which is correct. This is the one that we want to upgrade right now. It's then going to be installing the ISO image that we uploaded previously, which is that ESXi 7 update 3C image. We do have some scheduling options, which we can just take a quick look at. So we're going to be doing this immediately. So it's going to be doing it right now, live, up on stage. Um, otherwise, what you can do is you can schedule this to remediate later, a later date, and you just select this and enter in the time and date that you want that to apply. The next option is the remediation settings. Now we have this host in maintenance mode already. So the only one that we want to really tick here is the check host health after installation. So once the host comes back online, it's going to do a check and make sure that it is healthy. I'm happy with all these settings. If you need to change anything, go back and change them. Otherwise, we'll click remediate and the upgrade process will begin. Now, what I like to do during the upgrade process is open up a command prompt. And I just like to run a constant ping. And you can do that by typing ping, the host name, and then minus T, which is a continuous ping. So we'll press enter on that. And what we're going to see is that when the upgrade kicks in and it reboots, the pings are going to drop. And then when the host comes back online, we'll see those pings come back online or start replying. And then we know that the host is almost ready. It'll then go into a connected state and it'll be back in maintenance mode again. So right now it's probably a good time to stretch the legs, roll the arms around a little bit, go grab yourself a cup of coffee and come back in a couple of minutes. And then that upgrade will be complete. So what I'm going to do to save that time is I'm going to pause the video and then we'll come back once this upgrade has completed. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your coffee break and stretching out your body a little bit. Uh, we are back and guess what? We have upgraded successfully to version 7 update 3C. Now, remember, we did have that ping continuously running in the background. So I just want to scroll up. Actually, I just stopped the ping. And then I just want to scroll up and show you where it timed out. And that was when it did do the reboot. So just about there. So we had a couple of uh, ping time out there just during that reboot session. And then once it came back up, it started to reply again. Now, if I minimize our command prompt, we do have a bit of a change here. So if we just scroll up, we can see our ESXi version is now 7.0.3. And also down the bottom here, you can see that our baseline is now compliant meaning that the baseline does match what is installed on that ESXi host. All right, so you guys ready for question time? So the first question, what manager do we use to perform ESXi upgrades within vCenter? So just write down that answer, put it in your notepad or something like that. Keep those answers till the end. And then let's put all those answers in the comments below and let's see how you guys went. Second question. What is the name of the object that gets attached to the ESXi host, which also contains the updates? Okay, so once again, just write down that answer in notepad or keep it in your head, whatever. Let's keep it till the end of the video. And what we'll do now is let's move on to the second method that we're going to use to upgrade our ESXi host. 
So before we move on to that, let's take this host out of maintenance mode by right clicking on it, going to maintenance mode and then going exit maintenance mode. Okay, if you've enjoyed this content so far, I would really appreciate a thumbs up below. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest content, then you can hit that subscribe button. And as we release more content, you will be notified of that. I also do post in the community tab on the YouTube channel. So if you need to interact, if you need to ask questions or even requests, then you can post in that community tab as well. All right, so now we are going to move on to the second option and the second method to upgrade ESXi to version 7 update 3. And that is going to be via the CLI, so the command line interface. To do that, once again, we are going to put this host into maintenance mode. So let's right click on that, go maintenance mode and enter maintenance mode. This is going to move the virtual machines off this host and onto our newly upgraded vSphere or ESXi 7 update 3 host. So we'll click OK and OK again. And just like that, that host is now in maintenance mode. So we need to establish an SSH session to this host. And to do that, we're going to use a tool called PuTTY. Now, if you've never used PuTTY before, don't worry. It's super simple to use. And I'm going to post a link in the description of this video where you can download that. It is absolutely free and it is an awesome tool. So I've already got that installed on this system. So I'm going to click on my little putty icon here. We'll go run. And then I'm going to type in the fully qualified domain name. So vc8esxi4.bmlab.local. And I'm going to go ahead and accept the key. So I'll just click yes. And let's just bring this down. I'll open up this window a little bit. And we're going to log in as root. So I put the username as root. I'll put in my password. And just like that, we are into the system. Now, one thing I want to mention is that if you try to SSH into the system or into your ESXi host and it said connection refuse, then that means that you don't have the SSH service on. So to turn the SSH service on, we go back onto the host. We'll go to configure. And then we'll just scroll down here to services, select SSH, and then just make sure that you click on start there to start the SSH service. All right, so let's go back to our screen here. Now, before we go any further on the CLI, we are going to need to download the patch from the website or from VMware's website. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to patch this at all. To do that, we are going to need to browse to a URL. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to paste this URL in. And once again, don't worry about trying to write down the URL. I will put that in the description of this video below. OK, so we're going to select a product. So we're going to drop down this menu and select ESXi Embedded and Installable. We'll leave the default and then we'll just go ahead and click on Search. All right, so we can see that the latest version of ESXi is Update 3F. So we did upgrade our other ESXi host to 3C. So we can see now 3F is the latest one. So why not upgrade to the latest one here? So I'm going to go and click on this and I'm going to download this patch. And this is going to be a zip file. It's not going to be an ISO file like we used previously. Once that's downloaded, we are going to then upload that into a data store on the host or that the host can see. And then we're going to reference that patch with our CLI. Now to upload this zip file to our ESXi host, we're going to use another tool called WinSCP. And once again, that link is going to be in the description below, but I've got that installed already. So I'm going to open it up right now. And we're going to put the name of the host that we want to connect to in host name. And then we'll enter in the username and password. So we're going to be connecting as root. I'll select a yes for the certificate. And I'm going to go to VMFS. And then I'm going to place this zip file into vCloud 8 Platinum 1, which is an NFS data store. So here's the zip file on the left hand side. I'm simply going to drag and drop that into the right hand side. And that's going to copy up in a couple of seconds. OK, once that's complete, we can now go back to our PuTTY window, which is our SSH session. And we're going to type in quite a long command here. So I've got this already typed out in Notepad. I'm just going to paste it in right here so you don't have to see me type out the whole thing. And this is the completed command up on screen. So we have ESX CLI software vib update and then the depot. And this is where we uploaded the zip file to. So that VMS slash volume slash and then that big number corresponds to that vCloud Platinum uh, volume that we upgraded or uploaded this uh, zip file to. 
if we go back to WinSCP, uh, we can see that we are here, VMS volumes and then the um, volume number here. And we've got our zip file right there. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and press enter. Now, there's a lot of stuff that's come up on screen. If we scroll up a little bit, we can see the update completed successfully, but the system needs to be rebooted. So guess what? We are going to go ahead and reboot this system. To do that, we're just going to type in reboot minus F and enter. Now we're going to go back to our continuous ping. And there we go. It's request timed out already. So we're just going to wait for that to start pinging again. And just like that, it's starting to ping again. So we may make our way across to our vCenter server again. And we can see that the host is still not responding. So let's just give it a couple of seconds and it should re-establish its connection to vCenter. And then in the summary tab, we should see this change from ESXi 6.7 to ESXi 7. And it is just established connection right now. So we can see that is updated to 7.0.3 and then the build number. And it is back in maintenance mode. So it hasn't left its maintenance mode is exactly where we left it. And it's just re-establishing all its connection, installing some agents, and this is just NSXV agents. So it is pretty much ready to go. So now we can take that host out of maintenance mode and we have a freshly installed, or well not installed, but upgraded by the CLI method, a uh, version seven update three F. So now question time. So what is the second method that I've showed you how to upgrade your ESXi host? And what is the command line used to perform that upgrade? So put that in the comments below and let's see how that goes. So now we have an issue. We have this host on version seven update three F and we have the other host on version seven update three C. So if you guys wanna hang around just a little bit longer, do you wanna watch me perform an update with Lifecycle Manager? on our first host that we upgraded. So if you do, thumbs up. <laughs> All right, cool guys, let's do it. So let's take this host out of maintenance mode. So maintenance mode, exit maintenance mode. Okay, we're gonna return back to ESXi 3 and we're gonna be placing that into maintenance mode. We're gonna go ahead and click on the updates tab on the right side. Just make sure that you've got your ESXi 3 host selected. And then we're just going to perform a check compliance again, uh, just to make sure that these are the latest numbers here or for critical and security patches, etc. So let's just click check compliance. That task is now running in the bottom here in recent tasks as 10% complete. We'll just wait till that's finished. All right, looks like there was no change there. So we'll just go down here. We're going to select the ones that are non-compliant. So critical, non-critical and host security patches. And then we're going to click on remediate. Now, this is the screen that we're familiar with from before when we perform the upgrade. So we've got our host selected here. We're going to be installing 105 updates. So yeah, a lot of updates to be installed on this host. And we've got our scheduling options, and then we've got the remediation options or settings that we have and that we went through before. But because this host is in maintenance mode, again, we just want to make sure that check host health after installation is selected. And then we can just go ahead and click on that remediate button. So now what's going to happen is it's going to stage all those patches to the ESXi host and then perform an installation of those patches. Once it's done that, it's going to reboot and then it's going to come up. We're going to see the build number change and hopefully that's going to match the same build number as ESXi 4. Otherwise, that means that there are some either critical or non-critical or host security patches that are missing from ESXi 4, in which case we can repeat this process and get those two build numbers exactly the same. So I'm going to pause the video again. We'll let this do its thing because it's going to take a couple of minutes. Another good chance to go grab a coffee, have a bit of a stretch, and then uh, we'll come back uh, once that's done and we'll check that build number. All right, ESXi is now rebooted and it's starting to ping again. So let's minimize this pinging window. Uh, we can see that everything is in compliance now. And if we go up, we have the build number. So this is what we want to check against the other server that we just patched or the other ESXi host. So uh, 200, 36589. So if I come up to here, 200, 36589, which is awesome. 
Uh, both posts are now on the same build number, which makes it um, just nice and neat. And um, that's the way you want to run your environment is have all the hosts on the same build numbers. So we can go ahead and take this ESXi host out of maintenance mode and put it back into so-called production, even though it is a lab environment. Okay, so that brings us to our last question. So list the two methods that I've shown you today in how to upgrade your ESXi hosts and put them in the comments below. So all those answers that we've accumulated throughout this episode, let's put all of them in the comments below and then we'll go through and see how you went. It's pretty easy, but I think a little bit of fun and made it a little bit interactive in between us as well and just make sure that you're paying attention. All right, so that comes to the end of this episode now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to deliver this content for you, and we'll see you again in our next video. Bye for now.